Say that the Gregory Portland community is experiencing growing pains and it's thanks to an influx of new homes and industries. Yeah, and that growth is impacting the school district as well. GPISD has plans for a new $54 million early childhood center, but construction won't be complete for the upcoming school year. Our Simone Simpson tonight shows us how teachers are having to take matters into their own hands to keep up with the district's growth. Simone? Hey, Leslie, Mike, educators within the district have been converting non-instructional spaces like corners of the library, copy room, cafeteria, and even conference rooms and turning those into classrooms in order to meet students' needs. Principal of W.C. Andrews Elementary, Annalise Tennyson, says there is a solution in progress, and it's called an adaptable classroom. Our last enrollment number for our year was at 666 students. We are getting new students every single week. Principal Annalise Tennyson says this school year, enrollment has grown by 100 students. We're using a corner of our library for our dyslexia classroom. We've converted two office spaces into classrooms for our interventionist groups and then also for our special education population. With many homes being built in the enrollment zone of W.C. Andrews Elementary, the district needed a long-term plan to keep up with growth. When you look at it and you understand what's in the space, it is very different. Crystal Matern with Gregory Portland ISD says this temporary adaptable classroom structure is a $260,000 investment. One of the things that's different about it are the safety features and the way that we're making sure that our students are safe and secure in that space. And so that will be our second grade students out there and, and our staff. Six classrooms of second graders will be learning in this adaptable structure. This is really going to help with our high special needs populations. They're actually going to have a classroom now. Matern says one alternative to this project was to have students move to a different campus, but the district felt that wasn't an ideal situation for families. But being the new student anywhere can be hard, and so we wanted to make sure that we provide that stability for our students and families, and this was the best solution as a result. The $260,000 investment made by the school district is still pending with city approval. We'll follow this story and give you the latest updates as they become available. Back to you. All right, Simone, thank you so much.